Hey, it's Andreas, and let's talk about Carl Icahn, another great and famous investor. And there's gonna be a bit of drama in this video, as there's been an arch rivalry between Mr. Icahn and Bill Ackman of Pershing Square. But let's shortly gloss over the early days so you get a picture of who Carl Icahn is, more specifically how his investment strategy is looking. Now, Carl likes to buy company value companies that have a lot of assets where he sees potential, where he thinks management is mismanaging this company. He don't really like CEOs and their big paychecks and equity bonuses and all these things. He thinks that there's a lot of bad management in corporate America. And what he does is that he buys these poorly managed companies as he calls them. And then he tries to break up the companies, spin out companies and unlock a lot of shareholder value in this way. You can call it asset plays. And one really famous venture was, you know, like corporate raider, they called him in the eighties. And now that he's wealthy and famous, he's an activist investor. Sounds much better, right? That's the way it is when you have money. But he made an airline bankrupt here, TWA, was able to unlock value from that. That's one of his most famous raids. And then we can also see RJR Nabisco. He accumulated a large stake and uh, tried to force the company to break up, but he was unsuccessful in this case. However, he made a lot of money from it as he drives up stock price, trying to unlock value. And when the companies try to implement a poison pill, it creates opportunity to sell out at a big profit. He's tried to do that with Time Warner. He was only able to implement a cost cutting measures. He was not able to split the company into four companies. And we can also see he tried the same with Netflix. And I found a recent net worth here. You can see as of June 24th, 2022 his net worth was 22 billion american dollars a lot of money for this young chap let's talk about the big drama here that history will remember both carl Icahn and bill ackman for because this was quite public it played out on cnbc and the whole history the whole foreshadowing to this was that Ackman had rented out this fancy room and made a three hour presentation on why a company called Herbalife was a Ponzi scheme. He was really successful in this presentation. He convinced a younger me, I must admit, that it was a Ponzi scheme, a lot of other investors, and even on the Wikipedia page of Herbalife today, you will see that it says that it's been doubts that they are a Ponzi scheme, basically, and they've been accused of this and stuff like this. So it really stuck in history books. Just one powerful man doing his best to shift opinions and succeeding in it. On the other side of this battle is the star of this video, Mr. Carl Icahn. He was long in Herbalife, meaning he thought it was undervalued, there was bad management, there was a lot of potential to unlock shareholder value. So we have one billionaire wanting the share price to increase, betting on this, and one billionaire on the other side shorting, like the GameStop battle of the Wall Street bets that we saw recently, but just billionaire to billionaire. And it all culminated on CNBC when Bill Ackman was calling Icahn a liar and a fraud and all these things on air, live. And Carl Icahn called in to defend himself, being really angry with Mr. Ackman. And the news anchor who was hosting for this even wrote a book about it, trying to milk this event. So a very famous drama among top investors. But Mr. Ackman 
lost in the end, as the share price proves. And when Icann got out of this Herbalife long position, he made a billion, and on the losing side, Mr. Ackman lost a billion. Now, Ackman is managing Pershing Square Capital. He used to be a superstar with a lot of assets under management. However, after this defeat, he's never been the same. And I think that history will remember Carl Icahn for this big win. I don't think that history will remember a lot about the corporate raider days in the 80s. And I also think that history will remember him for his asset plays. And he's not done yet, guys. If you look at 13F filings, you can see his own personal investments, the lists, the companies that is building stakes in the trades that he are making. So if you are more of a value investor, you're looking at asset plays. Well, then you can find inspiration from Carl Icahn. Maybe he's the right superstar investor for you to put the poster of on the wall. It's a pretty mug, right? Big billionaire, big winner in this drama battle, made a lot of money. I think he deserves his own video. All right, that's been it. And as always, I hope you make a ton of money, whatever investments you decide to make. Take care now. Bye bye.